The Foss Last Slayer's Handicap is next. Two more, three furlong, 0 to 110. Top board trippy, Paul Rhodes, Rainbow Explorer, Leon Van Rensburg, Yonker, Stargazer, Vinnie Gerald, Sweating Bullet, Graham Clutterbuck, Penny Fan, Monty, David Robertson, Boulders, Brass, Paul Parsons, Larry Dessa, Lady Padre Hogan, Prickly Harvest, Craig Beckwith, Maudie Thursday, and Prize Princess for Nick Driver, and Crop Duster, Paul Parsons, and a long distance race, two more, three furlong handicap. Away they go. And Yonker Stargazer in the green closest to us. Just about the other. Nothing seems all that keen to take it up. A grey boulders brass on the inside for Paul Parsons. And also his other one, his other one Crop Duster, is there as well. But the pace is a little slow. We can expect that for two mile three full. But nothing seems to want to take the race by the scruff of the neck. And now it looks like the Paul Parsons pair are going to do a dual leading roll. And they've both suddenly found themselves four to five lengths clear whether that is where they want to be or not i'm not 100 percent sure but boulders brass the great is in front by three parts of a length to crop duster in second gap of four or five then to lara Dissa lady in the yellow and black for patrick hogan born trippy on the inside is next and that's paul rhodes in the two shades of green for yonker stargazer and vinnie gerard rainbow explorer for Leon Van Rensburg in the dark blue is next on the inside of that one. Nick Driver's prize princess. And his Khalid Abdullah colours the great closest to us. His penny fan Monty. In those turquoise and mauve hoops. But it's bold as brass the other grey who's a good four clear now. Of stable mate crop duster in second. A similar distance ahead of Laridus, a lady in Yonkers Stargazer as they come up past the stand, past the big screens, past the winning post shortly and off for a complete circuit. Of the force last track. It's just got to be still one of the newest British tracks. I mean, Ch Chelmsford came after this one, did it? And then maybe the Weatherby flat track. Oh, you could count that as a new course or not. I don't think you probably can. But it's Boulders Brass in the lead. And Crop Duster back in second. Lara Dissa Ladies after that one. And then Born Trippy, the Yonkers Stargazer. It'd probably be the big two that you'd be expecting to do well in this is I think they've probably got aspirations to be running in group races. What they're doing in a 0 to 110 handicap, goodness only knows well, they're in it. how they've got in it, goodness only knows either. But anyway, that's a different thing. Sweating Bullet is the back marker. I've got a feeling there are some group horses masquerading as handicappers in this. And Boulders Brass is in the lead. Crop Duster is second. Now this lady is third, born trippy four. And Yonkers Stargazer and Maundy Thursday. And it's Prickly Harvest and Penny Fan Monty. Sweating Bullet is just the back marker. Past the seven there. And Boulders Brass is the clear leader. But only by two lengths. To Crop Duster who's in second, but only half a length up now on Lara Dissa Lady on the inside. In third. And then Born Trippy is after that one. Quickly Harvest is next. On the outside, the grey penny fan Monty Yonker Stargazer has got the rail. Prize Princess is just struggling a little bit out the back now. And Rainbow Explorer's also got some work to do from there. But it's Boulders Brass going down towards the four furlong mark. In the lead by a couple of lengths. Do Lara Lady in second. Crop Duster is third. Born Trippy pulled to the outside for a challenge now is fourth. Then comes Prickly Harvest. Yonkers Stargazer is going to have to be careful he doesn't get trapped in. Then comes Penny Fan Monty. Sweating Bullet also coming round the outside. Rainbow Explorer looking for a run through. The Nick Driver pair appear to have dropped out of back. But it's Boulders Brass who's hanging on the lead at the moment. Now Yonkers Stargazer has got a clear run. Past the two pole. Yonkers Stargazer coming to challenge for the lead. Born Trippy trying to challenge as well. Lara Lady trying to run on. But it's Yonkers Stargazer who's gone on. Born Trippy with the top weight is trying to close Lara Dissa Lady on the road but it looks like Yonkers Stargazer who's going to be the strongest at the moment they're well inside the final furlong Yonkers Stargazer doesn't look like it's stopping they're not closing on him at all and Yonkers Stargazer is going to take this one for Vinnie Gerard born trippy second and then Lara Dissa Lady third Rainbow Explorer ran on well and you can be pretty sure that those top two can be headed for the Ascot Gold Cup I would guess let's hope they're rated too highly to get in the Chester Cup next week because that really should be a handicapper's race. Yonkers Stargazer takes it.
for Vinnie Gerard, Born Trippy second for Paul Rhodes, Larry Disselady, Patrick Hogan third, Rainbow Explorer for Leon Van Rensburg fourth, and Prickly Harvest for Craig Beckwith was fifth. <laughs>